Saturday, the Terps take on Duke in the Sweet 16. Now, they've lost to their old ACC rival three times in a row. And if you don't think that head coach Brenda Freeze will use that as motivation for her ladies, then you just don't know Coach Freeze. They are the DMV's last team standing and now off to the Sweet 16. But the Maryland women don't need to toot their own horn because they've gotten to this point for one reason alone. Let your play do the talking. 26 straight wins and counting. And while players speak with their play, the head coach isn't afraid to speak with her mouth. You lock in for 40 minutes and you go show them what Maryland basketball is all about. Freeze's pregame and halftime speeches have garnered some attention. Those have kind of taken on, uh, I guess, a, a life of its own, maybe through through the media. I mean, it is it, it is who I am, you know. Like, um, I, I just love instilling confidence. She motivates us in so many ways, and it's different every game. And we can feel the intensity and the energy from her, and it makes us want to play hard. You think they know her? They know! I love them. Every game, she comes up with a different thing, and I think I, I like I admire her for that because she always finds a different way to keep us motivated. I can get a really good feel for players in my pregame speech. And, and uh, the other night against Princeton, they were so locked in, I knew they were ready to play. And in that Princeton pregame talk, she did what she had to do. Just call it a political pawn. President Obama, you know, picked Princeton, all right? And all the noise that's out there, this is America's team. When the leader of the free world picks against <laughs> you, does that add something to it? Yeah, just a, just a little added motivation. But we love President Obama. We just wanted to prove him wrong. Sorry, man, but we had to bust your bracket. Has the president apologized for picking against you guys? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Still waiting. Mr. President, the ball's in your court.